Good morning, new 1%. This is Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, I'm going to need you to punch that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. I missed you when I was gone these past two days, but I'm back now. I'm back with a vengeance. Up on the screen, we have our Patreon subscribers, AJ, Bread Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, American Home Remedies.com, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, Maryland Crypto, Boost Wayne, Brady Adams, and Farouz Dean. Thank you for your wonderful Patreon support. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded. Let's get this show started. And today we're going to talk about Bitcoin, XRP, and of course, VeChain. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Uh, you know, this, this is going to be a little bit longer than what I have been putting out because I just want to have a conversation with you guys, basically. Uh, the first big news story of the day is as of right now, this video, Bitcoin has hit 19K. Um, as a matter of fact, right now, the current price, let me just go ahead and pull up the phone here. Things are absolutely going crazy right now. Bitcoin literally cannot be stopped uh you know we are in for a wild day so as of right now bitcoin <clears throat> has reached uh 19k 19479 56 as of the recording of this video when i woke up this morning bitcoin was at 198 absolutely insane absolutely crazy and it came back down to a level where, you know, normally it wouldn't have. Normally it would go back down to like 18, 17K. <clears throat> but it went from um, 19.8 back down to 19.1. So we're still staying in that 19K range. Things are going absolutely crazy. And hopefully we can start to see altcoins move now. Now, my strategy has not changed <laughs> i know it drives you nuts i know that you want me to come on here and talk about you know five altcoins that will you know explode during the bull run and i will do that video but not now not now i'm gonna wait till mass fomo comes in but right now all i'm doing is just stacking i'm stacking my core cryptos bitcoin ethereum cardano v chain Numerare, SNX, amongst others, and we're just waiting. We're just playing the waiting game. Bitcoin hits 19k as bull. Show no fear of the future of the record futures gap, despite 15% gains coming during a weekend. Monday simply delivers more of the same upside for Bitcoin prior to the Wall Street opening. Bitcoin returned to 19k. On November 30th, as the weekend surge continued to pr produce fresh gains for investors and hodlers, Bitcoin price is up 18% against weekly lows. Data from Coin Telegraph Markets and Trading View show BTC USD retaking another key psychological level during Monday trading. The weekend had already produced a major upside for the pair, which last which late last week dived to about 16300 by the start of Monday, 1860 appeared, 18600 appeared with Bitcoin going to deliver the results of at least 17% versus those lows. As Cointelegraph reported, a giant 1300 CME futures grab threatens to take away, threatens to take the market lower, but buyers uh, so far remain unfazed. Where is that futures gap? Let's see. Now the crucial area is 18200 and the final breaker before the all-time high resistance is 18600 through 18900. We've clearly broken that. Uh should Bitcoin manage to flip that zone to support the door remains open for another attempt at challenging 20k last week. However, 195 proved, proved to be a firm resistance. Now we broke through that 195 all the way up to 198. And now we're back down a little bit. As of now, so things are going crazy, guys. You know, after Bitcoin moves above 20k, all bets are off. We we don't have any data after that. <laughs> so, you know, it's been a long road. Shout out to everybody that's been hodling throughout this entire time. It, it, it's, you are definitely strong. 
you, you you got some strong hands, some of you guys. But, you know, that, that just comes with conviction. You know what I mean? If you see what we see in the crypto space, a lot of these crypto YouTubers, you know, they see something that a lot of retail investors don't see. And that's the future projections of these digital currencies and where the market is going, okay? When you have, you know, people in your family that never invested a day in their life asking you about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, that's when you know, like, things are heating up. Things are heating up. So, you know, only thing I'm going to do is just buy and hold and just wait now. <laughs> All bets are off. Some altcoins are still down 90%. So, you know, there's a lot of room to grow in this crypto space. A lot of room. Moving on. All right. In other Bitcoin news, Pizza Hut now accepts Bitcoin and Ethereum in Venezuela. Thanks to a partnership with Crypto Buyer, Pizza Hut's customers in Venezuela can now pay for their food using Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies. This is awesome, guys. Um, you know, Bitcoin is being adopted all across the world. And this is just one step closer. And Bitcoin was created for countries like Venezuela, for countries like Ethiopia and Africa. So, you know, it's good to see actual use case. The Brazilian branch of major American restaurant chain Pizza Hut has partnered with crypto focused firm Crypto Buyer to offer customers the ability to pay with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. We come with good news. We continue to grow and work and expand your payment options in cryptocurrencies. We are happy to announce that most recent alliance with Pizza Hut Venezuela. From today, you can share with your family and pay with Bitcoin XPT Dash Crypto Buyer Pay. Crypto Buyer announced on November 27th. Currently, the firm's point of sale solution, Crypto Buyer Pay, supports payments using Bitcoin. Binance Coin, Dash, Dai, Ethereum, Litecoin, Tether, and XPT, crypto buyers own token. Today's use of the technology has become so vital for people who have devices in their daily lives. It is important that we accompany them, young people, contemporary adults, or people with knowledge of technology. And I would agree, sir, this is uh, definitely a good, new good news for Bitcoin and good news for the greatest pizza company known to man pizza hut all right if you disagree you can go ahead and unsubscribe now because you will be blocked i love you <clears throat> and then it just goes down here to say that uh, pizza hut today cannot be detached from these technological advances of all these incorporations of new systems of approaches or daily life Founded in 2015, focused on Latin America, crypto buyer provides services such as digital currency, payment solutions, crypto ATMs, and POS terminals. Reportedly, over 40,000 businesses in Latin America are already using the firm's services, including the local branches of Burger King, Samsung, Intercontinental Hotels, as well as Taraki, the largest retail chain in Venezuela. So, Bitcoin is being adopted all over the world. The bull run is occurring now. Get your cash out plans ready. Um, if you do decide to take profit, not financial advice, I'm going to keep my profit, you know, earn an interest to gain more and more and more. So this is definitely something that we need to be preparing for in the future. So moving on. And we have a little bit of XRP news here today. Ripple exec declares Bitcoin uh, maximalism over XRP price surges. XRP has been doing the dash right now. Things are going crazy. I think you guys are at about 65 cents now. I think that the days when folks believe that there is only going to be one Bitcoin, I think are over, said Ashish Barla. In a podcast for Lend Academy recorded on November the 5th, RipperNet general manager Ashish Barla called Bitcoin pretty innovative alternative to gold, but added that 2020 has showed that there was a lot of room for tokens in the crypto space. Barla said that he believed Bitcoin had not gone after payments because different projects had different use cases. 
the coin's overwhelming dominance was no longer a certainty. I think the days when folks believe that there was only going to be Bitcoin, I think, are over. It is clear that there's going to be a lot of digital assets and there's going to be a lot more traditional assets that are going to be tokenized as digital assets. And I would agree. They're already tokenizing player contracts in basketball, already tokenizing uh, real estate. You could tokenize yourself. I want to create a uh, Satoshi Boomin NFT like that would be crazy. <laughs> The Ripple that GM made the comments uh, when the price of XRP was roughly 25 cents. It has since tripled, surging to $92, 92 cents, not $92, last week before crashing 30% amid a wider market route. Despite the lack of movement in XRP at the time, Brella added that he was feeling bullish over the crypto space, coming back red hot again after the 2018 crash. I don't see traditional venture capitalists as interested as they were in 2017, he said. But in my mind, I couldn't be happier in terms of innovation in the space. And that's what I agree. I don't look at price as a metric because, you know, back in 2017, all that was speculation, VC funds, you know, just insane speculation. Now we have actual use case, actual utility. And we have a reason for the FOMO. We actually have a real reason for the FOMO. And once we have the real reason for the FOMO, the prices will hold up. And when we do hit that 100%, 100x game, those prices are able to hold up because we actually have people using it. You know, uh, with Cardano, when they release smart contracts, people are actually going to be using Cardano you know they're not gonna you know suck the liquidity out and then just dump the coin like they would have done you know three years ago so there's a there there when we talk about v chain in a minute countries are actually using it okay people are actually using v chain in order to track and trace their food their clothing to mitigate counterfeiting to you know facilitate pandemic risk protocols all these things are actually going to be used so that when that price discovery comes in there will be a there there and it can actually hold up to the price let's get on to the vcha news guys uh yesterday we burned a, a very low amount of vetho about 3.1 million vetho yesterday today we are smoking hot at about 10.21 million VTHO on the day. We want to see that number creep up. Typically, the weekends are a bit uh, slower, but that's okay. And VChain is up. Let's actually give this a refresh. VChain is up about 5% on the day. Um... Yeah, we're just uh, waiting, ready and waiting for the moonshot. I think that the moonshot is coming, especially with Bitcoin crossing all-time highs soon. Uh, mass FOMO is going to happen, so we're just ready, willing, and waiting. At least that's what I'm doing. All right, so uh, Eisenreich, uh, good to see you, Eisenreich, if you're watching this uh, show here. Haven't uh, said go follow you in a couple of days. So uh, V chain and product storytelling uh, with food companies develop and promote new products, whether it's B, whether it's 2B or 2C, they will face the problem of storytelling with V chain solutions. Customers can understand the complete story behind a new product. And we can see that this is one of the major use cases not one of the main but one of the major use cases one of many of v chain and that is what is what are we eating what are what is the story of what we consume of what we buy um so let's take a look here we have uh jing john head of blockchain food safety business uh when companies develop and promote new products uh, they will face the problem of storytelling. For example, emerging foods such as plant-based foods. There are information mismatches 
between the focus of target customers and brand innovations. And there are problems such as market expansion and high product promotion costs. Brands in this type of emerging industries are seeking uh, more efficient means to present the added value of their products to consumers, triggering their main purchase motives. In this regard, VeChain can provide effective and proven solutions. This solution quickly helps brands achieve product traceability strategies through the combination of blockchain and Internet of Things. Brands can upload key information that customers are most concerned about, such as low carbon production, plant ingredients, and healthy raw materials. The blockchain platform without development to ensure that their data cannot be tampered with. When end users purchase, they only need to scan a code to understand the complete story behind their new product and immediately obtain information that matches their own needs. The highly transparent and credible data trajectory can express the sincerity of the company and become a friendship catalyst for communicating with customers in the early stages of market expansion. So, you know, we're, 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 we're helping comp companies market their products better, save money on traceability, um, provide a story for new and emerging products. This is not sexy stuff, all right? This is not a sexy main net launch. This is not a sexy to token burn of some kind. This is in the trenches work. Right? And in the trenches work doesn't always get heralded. But at the end of 10 to 15 years, where are the companies that do the in the trenches work? A lot of times you don't hear about them because they're multi-billion dollar companies. And <laughs> that's a rant for a different day. But... Just expanding on the solutions that we have. Uh, six major trends in the food industry. Spring has arrived and time for the innovation of artificial meat. Plant-based and functional foods has arrived from the perspective of the domestic market. Creative domestic products are becoming the trend and product categories continue to diversify. Uh, customers are paying more and more attention to whether foods are healthy, nutritious, and plant-based, natural, amongst other properties. They are no longer pursuing deliciousness, but are more concerned about the protection of the environment and the functional ingredients of the product itself, and are more willing to have these properties pay for the product. 2020 is the spring of Chinese plant-based incoming. As the younger generation of China becomes its main customer, they will pay more attention to sustainable and healthy plant-based alternatives. The key to the new story of plant-based China is to strengthen the plant-based, the strengthen the concept of plant-based and help change and help customers change their minds. Plant milk is relatively new and unfamiliar concept to Chinese people and myself. Uh, therefore, new players have taken advantage to seize the minds of customers and cultivate new con uh, conditions through new brand names and richer product lines. So VeChain's in the trenches helping, customer, helping companies and Fortune 500 companies be better. And that is what is going to lead us to the promised land. All right, Eisenreich again posts uh, VeChain and Walmart of China has won the dual chain award. The Walmart and China food safety tra uh, traceability platform was recognized as one of the top 10 blockchain applications use cases at the 2020 China Logistics and Supply Chain Industry Blockchain Conference. So, yay, VeChain, another award. Seems like we win an award uh, every darn week, pretty much. So, Eisenreich again posts. <laughs> Go ahead and give this man a follow, by the way. VeChain and CSR Tech. Uh, there will be another uh, panel here on uh, December the 3rd. Tang Men, head of VeChain's blockchain sustainability, will attend the CSR Tech Social Responsibility Technology Innovation Exposition Exhibition to share the role of blockchain technology and the needs of socially responsible in industry so i would definitely be keeping you um informed of that conference and lastly oceanx's birthday 
Uh, happy birthday to Ocean X. This is the second uh, anniversary of Ocean X. Uh, happy anniversary. Great, great platform. Um, you know, you can buy all the VeChain ecosystem tokens on this platform as well. Let's take a look. It's probably fair to say that 2020 has been rough for all of us, filled with fear, uncertainty, and influence of the daily routines. But you are not alone. OceanX is here to connect the global crypto community with our dedicated service, 24-7 hardworking commitment for safe asset protection. Two years ago, Xi'an Zhang Nan established OceanX as the next generation intelligent digital asset exchange. Here is a speech statement from... Uh, Zhang, I know Zhang, uh, on this special occasion. So today is our second anniversary on November 30th, 2020. I know 2020 is a tough year, but all of us never quit and devote uh, our overall effort into building and enabling OceanX. Our beloved community and users have been the driving power for our evolution and probably just about every landmark we achieved and over and challenge we overcame since day one our vision has always been to connect the global crypto community with the best trading experience meanwhile we recognize infrastructure is a fundamental way to reach this goal and we work so hard to make sure that all of our products and services contribute in some way to reach our vision last two years we were the foundational building phase for us now we have evolved into much more than just a crypto trading exchange we are celebrating the passive contribution we've made, honoring our evolution and expressing our gratitude to you, the users, supporters, patterns, and community. Thank you very much for our long time support and let's unite and fight together in the upcoming 2021. Congratulations to OceanX for surviving two years. If you have not used it, it's a good exchange. All right, guys, we are going to wrap things up. I missed you so much. Thanks for sticking with me. Up on the screen here, we have our Patreon subscribers, AJ, Brett Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, The Fern Line, Ethan, Jeffrey, Maryland Crypto, Boost Wayne, Brady Adams, and Farouz Din. Thank you for your wonderful Patreon support. I am one step closer to escaping wage slavery because of you. Looking at the Bitcoin block having here, we have 1,254 days, 9 hours, 20 minutes, and 43 seconds to the next Bitcoin block having, and things are moving according to plan here. Like I mentioned earlier, Bitcoin is up about 19.4, and it looks like it is heading straight up right now. Let's go ahead and give this bad boy a refresh. Yep, it looks like it's going straight up. Ethereum has crossed over 6 100 again xrp is still doing the dash as well cardano is doing great and v chain down here at 29 pumping about eight percent hopefully we could get above that two cent mark soon let's take a look at any major pumps here litecoin ave i'm, I'm looking for 30 percent 40 percent pumps here soon so all right, guys. Well, I blabbered on for about 20 minutes. Thank you. I missed you guys so much. Um, I can't wait to get back to doing these videos daily. So don't let your memes be dreams, guys. And I will come at you tomorrow. I love you so much. Goodbye.